In this video, we offer a number of boat awareness exercises to improve your understanding of your sea kayak's natural tendencies on open water. A few minutes spent experimenting in light winds and small waves will make a positive difference in more challenging conditions. The following exercises make a great warm-up at the start of a paddling day, give useful information about the character of a new kayak, and are an excellent way of regaining comfort in the boat if it's been a while since your last sea kayak trip. The aim is to learn more about our kayak's tracking, turning and balancing responses, different speeds and different angles to wind and waves. We film the exercises in easy water as an example of a progressive approach to building awareness. With experience and confidence you can try them out in bigger water. You can also adapt them to create your own set of awareness exercises. You can experiment with them at different speeds, with different angles and different boat trim. The more you vary them, the more you'll learn about you, your boat and the effect of wind and waves. All these exercises should take place in a paddling area exposed to a small amount of wind. Begin by paddling across the breeze, then simply allow the boat to glide through the water, observing how it gradually turns towards the wind direction. Next, spend a few minutes sat stationary with the kayak pointing into the wind, using occasional paddle strokes to help keep the boat on an upwind heading. With the blades held out of the water and no boat speed, you can also observe how the kayak drifts gently downwind with the boat pointing across the breeze. Using the kayak's natural tendency to turn up wind when on the move, try paddling with even pressure on each paddle stroke and observe the speed at which the kayak turns from across the wind to an upwind heading. For a tighter turn, still working with the boat's natural tendency, use sweep strokes on the outside of the turn. Now contrast this with a downwind turn. From a crosswind course, use sweep strokes to turn the kayak away from the wind and compare the effort required with that needed for an upwind turn. Now practice paddling across the wind, adjusting the pressure of each paddle stroke to maintain a straight course. You can also experiment with your kayak's manoeuvrability by spinning on the spot, both with a flat boat and with a moderate amount of edge. At different points in the turn, observe the effect of the wind on the speed of the turn. Paddling across the wind again, now use a moderate amount of edge to lower the upwind side of the kayak. Then use moderate edge on the downwind side of the kayak and compare how the boat either tracks across the wind or turns onto an upwind course. You can now combine sweep strokes and an outside edge to turn both upwind and downwind. Again, compare the effort needed and the radius of the turn when turning towards and away from the wind. You can also practice these moves while reversing. By the end of the session, you should have a clearer picture of your kayak's natural tendency when paddling in gentle winds and how changing boat speed, trim and paddle strokes can affect the kayak's angle to wind and waves. You can also develop accurate turning skills by buddying up with another paddler and challenging each other to turn quickly and efficiently around each other's kayaks beginning and ending in a rafted position. A little competition goes a long way with this exercise. It's also a great simulation of the accurate contact we have to make with swimmers in rough water. A quick and effective turn and a precise approach can really count when it matters. It's often quicker to circle your partner's boat without turning the kayak using forward and reversing skills. If a group member capsizes behind you or if you have to enter an area of rough water to make contact with a swimmer, Confident and precise reversing skills are a real asset. With practice, 
you can develop a feel for the position of your kayak's stern without the need to constantly look at it. 180 degree turns are also a useful skill to develop, spinning the kayak quickly and returning to the side of your buddy's kayak. If you need to reverse positions in the course of a rescue, or if you need to quickly stabilize a paddler, these approaching skills are highly useful. Turning around your partner's kayak without breaking contact also develops the ability to maneuver a swimmer's boat into more effective positions. It's another vital rough water skill. So there you have it, a set of exercises that we can tackle alone or with friends, in sheltered water or in bigger conditions. We can focus on working with and not against the kayak's natural tendencies. We can find energy efficient boat handling skills and we can feel more balanced in rougher water. That's got to be worth the time spent experimenting. And remember that we can use the same principles in challenging water as in calmer conditions. With solid foundations built on good boat awareness, there's no limit to our paddling potential. If you found this video useful, you can access all four hours of high quality sea kayak instructional chapters by directly purchasing them via our Kayak Essentials website or by joining our Essential Membership Service which gives you access to a huge range of videos, articles, podcasts and webinars covering technical skills, navigation tools, leadership principles and coaching issues. At £3.60 per month we think it's pretty good value. You'll find further information in the members area of our Kayak Essentials website.